Good morning everyone, Gadgin here for Henry's Canada and we got to go hands-on with the brand new, just announced Fujifilm X-H2. And in this video, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to share with you the top five features that stood out to me. Let's get this started. The X-H2 comes in hot, hot with a 40 megapixel BSI X-Trans sensor. Look, I'll just say it right now. Resolution isn't everything to everyone, but it is something for someone. If you're capturing photos regularly and you're doing a lot of landscape, travel, architecture, higher end portraiture, you will appreciate this 40 megapixel sensor, especially the fact that you can crop in and get more composition options without losing a ton of clarity. It's something that even though we couldn't play with the raw files yet, just those high efficiency images, it really had some remarkable results. What's also unique about this camera is that it has a 160 megapixel pixel shift mode where if you're capturing something that really doesn't move, you can stick this thing on a tripod and get even larger images to work with. So yeah, I know it's a bit on the nose, but right off the bat, the number one feature here is that brand new higher resolution sensor. Number two on this list is the Pro Body. This is something that feels denser, but not heavier, if that makes sense. It's just comfortable to hold and use, especially if you're using it in more of an enthusiast and professional environment where you can wrap around and use it to capture the results you need reliably. When you also look at the viewfinder and the LCD, you have something that gives you a 5.76 million dot experience that just feels really good. And the latter, that LCD, something that's very sturdy, that doesn't wobble or shift out of place. This all comes together for an experience that makes it easier to capture what you need, especially if you're capturing a lot. Throw in a weather resistant body, a reinforced lens mount, and a shutter rated for over 500,000 shots. You have something here that you can use and use with confidence. Next up, it is video, and we gotta talk about this. 8K video, 8K 30P video. Look, I know, I know it's excessive for most people, but it does bring an interesting option to the table. If you have the storage available, you can capture 8K footage and you know use it in interesting ways where you can recompose in post to get a very different look. So maybe you're capturing for social and you can take a vertical cut without having to switch your camera into a vertical mode when you're capturing, saving you time. So yeah, it's not something that everyone needs for their creative work, but I do think a lot of people that are looking at this camera will try to take advantage of this 8K video feature. Especially if you think about pulling stills from 8K video, 8K 30P and you pull a still from it, really interesting stuff. Number four on this list is the improved autofocus. And this has more autofocus points, but because it's not a stacked sensor like the X-H2S, there is a little bit less autofocus calculations going on where it might not work as fast in similar situations in some environments. But this is something that while we were testing is still significantly better than previous generation Fujifilm cameras. And I'll say this, to anyone that is listening, take the time to actually go into the menu and quickly adjust your autofocus for what you're capturing because you will get an incredibly reliable autofocus system, especially when you know what you're capturing. You know, if you're capturing something and you're trying to avoid obstacles or if your subject is randomly just gonna appear into the frame, there are settings for that. You can customize it to what you're capturing. And Fujifilm has made a noticeable upgrade here that many people will notice right off the bat. Last on this list is the robust feature suite. Yeah, I kind of cheated here to just include a whole bunch of things at once, but it's really how Fujifilm is bringing a ton of value together to make for this really awesome creative tool. Fujifilm is one of those few companies that they, they don't hold back. If they can fit it into the camera, if it can work, 
they're gonna give it to you. You have a camera here that can record ProRes video internally if needed, 13 plus stops of dynamic range, capture photos up to 20 frames per second at 40 megapixels, tons of film simulations, and seven super customizable modes that sit in a heat controlled body that will keep you shooting for longer and longer. This is why Fuji users love Fujifilm because anything they can throw in, they're gonna try and throw in. And you just have something that you can grow into and experiment with and quite simply, just have way more ceiling for your creative journey. Releasing this year, September 29th at 2550, Canadian users here can expect an alternative option if they're looking for a new flagship camera, especially if you're on an older Fujifilm solution you now have two options to pick from, an X-H2S, which gears better for video, and an X-H2, which pleases photographers and brings a lot more interesting features to the table if you do more photo work. If you have any more questions about this camera, you go to henrys.com to see what else it can do, and also use the live chat to speak to an expert to find out if this is the right camera for you. As always, my name's Gadgen. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.